It all comes down to this weekend. The Republican presidential primary is just 24 hours away, but voters right here in the Palmetto State are already turning out in droves to make their voices heard at the ballot box. Early voting has closed. It closed last night, and the numbers are in. Live Five's Autumn Klein joins us live now with the latest data. Autumn, just how many people have cast their ballots so far, and, and how is this stacking up against the Democratic primary just a few weeks ago? Well, guys, we already knew that the Republican numbers were going to smash the Democratic primaries. Just last week, early voting numbers had already doubled the Democratic turnout, and that was just in the first week alone. The South Carolina Election Commission released new numbers last night, and we now know just how many people opted to vote early. The latest data showed that before yesterday, more than 165,000 South Carolinians cast their ballots early, with just under 30,000 coming from the Tri-County area. Election officials also tell us that they're expecting around 50,000 voters to come out for Election Day tomorrow. Turnout for the Democratic primary was less than 5 percent. About 131,000 people cast ballots in that competition. Of course, that was not a competitive election. Saturday's contest between the only candidates who haven't dropped out, Nikki Haley and Donald Trump, is likely to generate a much stronger turnout. Now, of course, early voting has ended, but tomorrow the polls will be open for in-person voting beginning at 7 a.m. You can find your polling location on our website, but just a reminder, if you voted in the Democratic primary, you will not be allowed to vote tomorrow. Coming up at 5.30, I'll be breaking down for you how much each candidate is spending to get your vote. Live in Charleston, Autumn Klein. Live 5 News.